problems. Um, Cyberwolf made another rant, I mean rant, contrary with this douche who doesn't care about his fans at all because there have been times where this guy that he paired up with, I don't remember his name because uh, I seriously, I think it was Junior something, I have a feeling it was, but I don't remember because I don't have the time to uh, go back on his video. Because uploading this shit was so mandatory. Just watch, it's going to bite him hard in the ass. But um, Cyberwolf paired up with this guy who doesn't care about his fans. There have been times where uh, a lot of people comment saying, you're being so mean to Ben, which is Ben's rants, which were he was contramitting on. And he goes out and says that he doesn't care and, you sh and they should just leave him alone. It's your freaking fans. I mean, listen to your fans. They're making a point. Oh, yes. Let's sugarcoat our videos just to please a group of people who think life is nothing but gumdrops and rainbows. <laughs> I think I'll stick to what my friends think is good and be a complete cunt. Or on somebody. Just stop. Anyways, the Cyberwolf with the other guy that he was um, pairing up with made contrary on Ben Rance. And basically, uh, Cyberwolf tries to be higher than Ben. Like it's hard. Basically saying your video sucks. You didn't give enough evidence. Everything you say is wrong. You're gay. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not saying, like, <laughs> he said that he was gay. But there are some points where uh, Ben basically was um, making like high notes kind of and um, Cyberwolf got very annoyed He's, like saying that he was high which I thought was retarded because you have no sense of humor why am I not surprised and I'm gonna be honest with you I love Ben Rance I mean, sure, the only mistake, I'm going to be honest with Cyberwolf, the only mistake is, yes, he did not give a lot of ev evidence. I will agree to that. Wait, I thought you hated Cyberwolf's commentaries because he keeps going, You don't give enough evidence. Now you're fond of it? There's a word for people like you. Ever heard of this word? But the thing is, it's basically his opinion, but they should not call it Ben Rants. They should call it Ben's opinion, so that he doesn't get really uh, annoyed with all these contrarieties that are being, you know, based off his videos. Because when you state that, um, if you, like, if I said I was ranting on something, like Sammy rants, whatever, I have to give evidence, or else I'll be like a, you know, the main point for com contrarieties. Well, I guess that idea went down the shitter. Well, that's mainly my fault, but eh, you still fail. My amusement. By the way, are you trying to suggest that if we're just stating an opinion, we don't need elaboration on our opinions? Sir, all arguments and opinions need backing up, otherwise nobody will understand your thoughts or why you think this way. And we're not making videos on Ben the Looney or other people because of their opinion. Quit using that fucking excuse. It's because his views on certain ideas are absolutely stupid. Okay, he claims himself to be a nostalgia tard, yet he makes exceptions for certain shows like My Little Pony and Phineas and Ferb. Speaking of which, don't you hate that show? And that's why I look up stuff. I watch the videos. I go look stuff up on the internet to make sure I know what I'm talking about. The irony is, even in his videos, he still doesn't know what he's talking about. Hence the reason he rambles incoherently for 30 freaking minutes! By the way, did you say a moment back that you didn't bother to look up who Cyberwolf's commentary partner was because you didn't have enough time? Yes, be shocked everyone. More retardation from Sammy. Because if I'm staying my opinion, which a lot of my videos I do, if I say like Sammy's opinion or Sammy reviews, it's because I either play something which I did review or I base my opinion on what I saw on a certain episode of something. And with commentaries, Cyberwolf does the same thing. He finds a video he thinks is shit and he talks about why it's shit. Same thing here. I found this video which is shit and I've been talking about why this video is shit. You see how it works now?
Then, I have to agree, let's not do this, but it doesn't mean I don't love his videos. His videos, in my honest opinion, are very true, even though he doesn't give honest opinions. So, his videos are true, but he doesn't give his honest opinions. Come on, Realm. There's still more video left. You can do this. Ignore the mental pain. I need a therapist after this. A good example of this, and I cannot believe Cyberwolf defended the show. Cyberwolf, you have to make an update on Cartoon Network. Oh, you mean how, like, you need to make updates on cartoons from Disney XD? Anyways, um, there was one point where Ben stated that he hated regular show and Adventure Time. And I have to be honest with you, I seriously agree, and how the hell do you defend the show, Cyberwolf? Why in the hell do you defend these two shows? The same reason you defend a faggot like Ben the Looney? I mean, what next? Are you going to defend almost naked animals? Heh, <laughs> that's an easy one to turn around. What's Cyberwolf going to defend next, almost naked animals? Who are you going to defend next, Sailor Moon Red? Because if that's the case, and saying it's for the next generation, you're just going to be... Uh, I'm not going to say names, but... I mean, why would you defend the show? I mean, that is retarded. Oh, fuck it. Every time this guy drags on pointless shit for over five minutes, I'm just going to play elevator music. They swear. They swear on these shows. Oh, and you don't? Didn't you call Phineas and Ferb assholes? And didn't you say commentaries and copyright issues piss you off? You know, when you're guilty of using profanity, it's unfair to judge other things for profanity. I mean, that's like a guy going up to you and going, Ooh, you're swearing, I fucking hate that. How can I explain it? Like, kids want to use that language because they never used it before until their parents tell them to stop. And their parents are going to get curious on, to, on where they heard these words. Why did you say it? Where did you hear it? And um, to the point where um, they, find, they find out that something on Cartoon Network, which is based on cartoons, taught them to say, pissed off, or screw you, or something like that. And, uh, then the parents get mad at Cartoon Network, and they never let their kids watch Cartoon Network again, because of what it's become. Oh my god, not only do you promote PETA logic, but soccer mom logic. We must protect the innocence of the children! Okay, fuck the children. Why is it that cartoons need to dumb themselves down just so dribbling little freaks can watch them without offending the parents? Okay, Adventure Time and Regular Show have something most shows from the 90s had. Balls. And about the whole swearing thing, I'm going to quote Bill Cosby on something. Don't ask where your kids learn to swear, because you should already know. Yeah, this is just more soccer mom bullshit, so elevator music. <laughs> I'm just stating, why would you defend these shows, Cyberwolf? Why? I mean, it doesn't make sense. This is why you should update Cartoon Network, because I have no idea what your thoughts are, are on it. So, because he's not updated on all the shows, you don't know his opinions on one particular show? Just when I thought nobody could get more retarded than Shantae55, somebody does. If you have the if you have the straight guts to say that these shows are awesome or great for because they're to a different generation which is so bullcrap because kids should not even watch this. So cartoons should only be strictly for kids? If that's the case, then shows like The Simpsons, South Park, Futurama, Thundercats, Star Wars, The Clone Wars, and majority of the shows from the 90s are considered bad. It's retardation like this that makes me hate to create content for children. Because here's the thing, I don't think my audience is retarded. So if I feel that they can handle something with a little mature content, then I'm going to put it in there. I don't want to abide myself to the standards to what cartoonish should be just to make my material appreciative. That's all what soccer moms 
and retards do. They limit the cartoonists and story writers' ability to get away with something unique and limit their creativity. And it pisses me off. You want to know why most cartoons seem like the same idea, but with different characters? It's because of retards like these who limit the creativity on story writers. Thanks a lot, you cunts. I hope you burn in the darkest regions of hell. I don't get it. I seriously, I seriously don't. That's because you're retarded. I mean, the whole contrary thing is just so retarded. Gee, it's about fucking time we actually got started on talking about commentaries. Jesus Christ, almost your entire half of this freaking video was about Cyberwolf's videos on other people. I know it says small rant on Cyberwolf in your title, but last time I checked, 15 minutes isn't freaking small. And you didn't even touch on how commentaries are bad. You just bitched at Cyberwolf because he defends things you dislike and attack things you like. Which is funny, didn't you mention something about, I don't know, respecting opinions earlier in this video? There is, for example, like I said before, there is people that uh, defend Fanboy and Chum Chum. And there, at one point, Cyberwolf said that he defended fanboy, fanboy and Chum Chum as well. Huh. Guess we're not on a different subject. Oh my fucking god, when will this shit end? And by the way, Tog somewhat defended Guptil89 in one of his videos, and you don't see people complaining about that at all. Here's the thing, there are no laws or regulations to what we can defend or not, because that's trying to control a person's viewpoint. You're trying to control people's opinions by telling them they can't do this or they can't do that. If Cyberwolf felt like making a video talking about fanboy and chum chum and saying a person making a video on the subject was made a poorly made video, then he has every right to call out someone who made the poorly done video. Who are you to say what we can defend and what we can't defend? As long as our arguments are valid, why should there be a problem? Again, why? Why would you defend Fanboy and Chum Chum? It's not that good. Neither has Ben Looney. I mean, In fact, he's downright terrible. Did you terrible. see the animation? I mean, you probably did watch it, but why in the right mind would you say that is a great show? It's not. Yeah, it couldn't be because the guy who made the video did a poorly done presentation. Oh no, it's because he automatically likes the show and has to defend it. Every time you spout some kind of stupidity, a thousand afros burn alive. Think of the afros. Show, it's not. It's something that three-year-olds three would watch, and really three-year-olds wouldn't watch it. They, I mean, it is so disgusting. I mean, just like regular show and Adventure Time, it's so idiotic. Bullshit! Adventure Time and regular show are on a much higher caliber of entertainment than Fanboy and Chum Chum. Fanboy and Chum Chum, what's that about? Two kids in tights acting like retards. Adventure Time and regular show? They have an idea that makes sense and the humor isn't just tacked on and it makes sense to what's going on. Plus, Fanboy and Chum Chum has dumbed down to the child demographic where regular show and Adventure Time try to be more creative with their ideas. Also, why are you complaining about the content in Fanboy and Chum Chum considering you complained about regular show and Adventure Time not being suitable for the children demographic? Fanboy and Chum Chum is literally a kitty show, yet you were complaining about its content saying it's retarded. My god, you're just like Ben Naluni. There's no fucking pleasing you. No wonder you're defending him. Along with these commentary commentaries. Oh my god! He finally said it right this time! Yeah. Um Cyberwolf is probably the main person right now that I am watching because um he makes tons of contrameries. Okay, never mind. And uh I don't think that's okay. It's people like Cyberwolf. That uh, should be banned. And it's people like you who need to be given special education. Just because he made two really horrible countries. Out of the 134 he shitty videos you made? But he's basically saying, I'm better than you, your videos suck. And I really don't like that. Yes, we need to hold each other's hands singing Kumbaya while sugarcoating a guy's nipples and give them constructive criticism. Blow me. And there is other people who also do contrameries, and I think people who do contrameries should be banned from YouTube. They are not okay. Because they call me out on the bullshit. My ego can't um, have that. I'm gonna be like I said. I love Cyberwolf's reviews. 
I love his reviews. I love his reviews on video games. I love his reviews on Cartoon Network. I love his reviews on Nickelodeon, Disney Channel, whatever. Oh yes, I love this user's content of reviews. I love them so much. I think they're the best things that he makes. They're the best things on here. But I think he should be banned from this site because of two videos that I didn't like. Man, I can already see the loving relationship coming together. I'll see you around the street corner maybe an hour. Maybe I'll have change. And, uh, when he makes Crunch Marys, it makes me hate him even Despite more. Despite the fact that I love him for his reviews. And he has the right mind, because, um, when he made that Crunch Mary on Ben, it wasn't even on his account. He was, like, saying, I'm not gonna make Crunch Marys on my account because I don't want to be, like, a douche, so I'm gonna do it on somebody else's. And I thought that was just total bullcrap. Well, hey, at least he notified everyone. Hey, my commentary's around another channel. Just like how some people say, Hey, I got a new commentary on blip.tv. Here's a link. Go check it out. See, it's called being considerate to the audience so they know where to find your content and it makes it easier for them to find it. But hey, this guy can't even pronounce commentary, so should I really be expecting him to have common sense at this point? Point is, I seriously don't think contraries are good for YouTube. There is too many... There's just way too many. Well, hey, some people can argue that there's too many videos about Power Rangers. See? It goes both ways. I'm basically, I'm, this is probably, Cy Cyberwolf more than likely is going to make a contrary on me. Because <laughs> that's how he is. When, I tr when people piss him off, then he's just going to go back making a contrary, and I don't care. You don't care, huh? Then tell me this, sir. Why did you delete the video? So people couldn't commentate on it? Well, you're a bit too late for that one. I honestly think that contraries are a total waste of time. Why should I hear what he has to say about my uh, video? Commentaries may have a pointless factor, but as long as we can entertain a crowd, why should there be a problem? Also, you may not care what he says about you, but you sure threw a bitch fit when he ranted on your boyfriend, Ben the Looney. I don't care because most of these videos are my opinion well not this one because it's a rant and you seem to believe that rants and opinions are two different things okay so let me get this straight it's only an opinion video if you make it there's another thousand afros and i'm just trying to state the fact that contraries are totally wrong people should not do them it's just a total waste of time point is Contraries are awful. They should not be used on YouTube. You should YouTube should ban people who do contraries. But people pirating full episodes of the Power Rangers? Perfectly fine. Delete their account and just get it over with. And YouTube doesn't do that. They do, but only when people file false DMCA's against a commentary. But if that's to happen, it often shows oversensitivity towards other people's thoughts on you. I can see you doing that, which is why I host this shit on Blip. But yet when you somebody copyrights, they delete their account. But when somebody makes a contrary on somebody else, at some point, it's called cyberbullying. No, that's just the redundant hyperbole term used when someone gets called out on by someone who's more intelligent than them. I mean, if that's the case, then Shadow Blaze would be a cyberbully, and he would be cyberbullying Disney by making a commentary on Phineas and Ferb, and yet you defended him. Smooth move, dumbass. Well, at some point. I mean, people could uh, seriously make a video about somebody else just because they ranted on that person. It could technically, technically be called cyberbullying, and YouTube would be no do nothing about it. Just, I hope YouTube improves on this. Nobody should make contraries. I think that's just an awful idea. As opposed to your 29 minutes of autism, which isn't a terrible idea, am I right? I hope people learn from this and, ho and hope that people who make contraries get bite in the butt and basically says, says that um, contraries are wrong and, and they will never do it again. Bit in the ass. Fucking irony. Also, praying never works. I mean, I tried praying this video was fake, yet here I am almost done with this shit. Thank God for that. I just trying to state that 
that contramaries are just awful. They should never, people should never do them. It's just a total waste of time, and one day it's going to come back and bite you in the butt. So don't do it. Well, let me make my response to you on your wishes. Fuck you. Fuck your retardation. Fuck your boyfriend Ben the Looney. And fuck Sasuke Uchiha. This commentary is going up because this shit is just too rich for people to pass over. Anyways, that's it. This is Sammy111001 signing off. Have a nice day. Yes, people! It's safe to come out now! The monster is dead! We can all go back to that orgy we were having! That was beautiful, Realms. I'll let you know when your next commentary ideal will be. Shut your whore mouth.